This video has been classified by the ABC as PG. Meet MDMA, or methylene dioxymethamphetamine, the chemical used in the street drug ecstasy. This now notorious molecule was first synthesised by accident in 1912, when German scientists tried to come up with a blood clotting agent. In 1953, MDMA first entered a bloodstream when the US Army, on the hunt for truth serum, sponsored a secret animal study into the drug because of its structural similarity to the hallucinogen mescaline. Their results were inconclusive, but American psychopharmacologist Dr Alexander Shulgin's weren't. He tested MDMA on himself in 1976, noting its effects on inhibition. I experienced some of the feeling one has after the second martini. That one is discoursing brilliantly and with particularly acute analytical powers. Shulgin convinced his psychotherapist friend Leo Zeff of MDMA's medical potential. Zeff was so excited he came out of retirement to distribute the drug to therapists around the world. Many found it perfect for couples therapy and it was later dubbed penicillin for the soul. But MDMA's medicinal career was cut short when people started using the drug recreationally. Ecstasy became wildly popular in the early 80s, not least because it could then be purchased legally. Even Phil Donahue ran a special on it. It's called Ecstasy. Now, who doesn't want to take Ecstasy? But MDMA fell victim to Ronald Reagan's war on drugs. In 1985, the US Drug Enforcement Agency made an emergency move to ban it, saying it had a high potential for abuse and no medical use, full stop. Most countries followed suit, even as the World Health Organization urged them to facilitate research on this interesting substance. As an illicit drug, MDMA has been consumed in enormous quantities. It's been implicated in a number of high-profile deaths, complicated by the fact that not all pills sold as ecstasy actually contain MDMA. Meanwhile, doctors have continued their campaign to have the drug approved for research. In 2002, a study falsely linked MDMA with brain damage similar to Parkinson's disease. It turned out there'd been a labelling error in the lab. Test monkeys had been given speed by mistake. Later research found MDMA reversed symptoms of Parkinson's disease in mice, though long-term use is thought to adversely affect serotonin production and memory. In 2002, the US finally allowed a pilot study into MDMA-assisted therapy for post-traumatic stress disorder. It concluded that patients, including veterans of the Iraq War, were helped tremendously. Other studies, including one at the Harvard Medical School, have shown the drug's potential to help victims of violent crime or patients with incurable diseases deal with their trauma and anxiety. MDMA, the party drug which longs to lead a straight life.